All right, Advent of Code, day 17, uh, which I am... Anyway, what's going on here? Uh... Okay. X moves, Y moves, X goes down, Y goes down. One seven six. I think at forty five. Really not one one seven six. You see. Uh
10296. Mm. I just kind of feel like we have to go to the right. Why? Okay, that was kind of a weird problem. Um, Sure. So what is there to say here? Uh, so we're basically just brute forcing it, trying all possible answers. Um, and we just need to follow the instructions for how to simulate. Uh, so there's a bunch of like guesses here about what um, sort of reasonable numbers are. Although I guess we can infer like sure. So actually like x can only be up to like 150, say. I think that's correct because, you know, if you start out at more than 150, you're already past the target area and you're never gonna go backwards. Furthermore, X can't be negative because you have to, uh, like X goes towards zero. So if you start out going left, you're never gonna go right and the target area is to the right. So you know, this is a reasonable bound on X. Uh, similarly, Y, um, Y is always uh, going further down, so you shouldn't start at a negative velocity of more than, you know, 144, let's say 150. Uh, as far as a positive velocity, that's a little bit harder to bound. So I think it's reasonable to put a, a large value here. Um, and as far as the time bound, uh, that also seems somewhat unclear. 2371. Yeah, so those are still the right answers. Um, you know, I suppose we could do some math and get like a real bound here. Uh, right, the point is like, you know, y of t is, you know, basically some quadratic function. Uh, wait, it's, it's, this is not the correct formula. But the formula is something like this. Uh, but yeah, I guess that, that doesn't really make it super clear uh, what to do here. I'm actually curious what the like you know optimal bound is. We never quite figured out. Let's see, apparently this is how you get the max height, uh, and the max height occurs in how many steps? Hmm.
I see. I guess the point is to like stall out x to zero when you're in this range, and then you have as much time with y as you want. Uh, you just need to like make sure that you hit this range of like 50 things. Uh, so it is probably like quite a few steps. Sure. Uh, anyway, so once you've decided on these parameters of like the bounds that you're interested in, um, you can just try everything. Uh, it's not that slow. I'm actually a little bit surprised that it runs as fast as it does. But, you know, like 150 times like 1,000 times like 1,000 is a perfectly reasonable number. Uh, although I was careful to run it in PyPy. Uh, I think if I ran it in Python, it would be a bit slower. Right, so that's less than a second. And if we just run it in Python, which is what I have it set up to do by default, uh, I think it will take quite a bit longer. Uh, although, not terribly slow. Um, so yeah, just try all the velocities. I guess it's important to remember that, you know, the y velocity can be negative, which if you read the example, there's lots of examples, you know, it does happens a lot. Uh, x has to be positive, and we probably don't need to simulate that many time steps, but um, it's harder to get bounds on, on y and the number of time steps, so better to give uh, large values, I guess. Okay, um, so I think that is about all there is to say about day 17. See you tomorrow.